Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to Live, Live at the, the Hive. Hive. I'm Sierra. And I'm Josh. Can you believe it? What? This is our first broadcast of 2019. Happy New Year. Well, let's get started with those announcements. It's finals week, and that means minimum days. Good luck on your finals, everyone. Boys basketball will be having a game tonight. All levels, 315 to 515. The class of 2021 will be having a Chick-fil-A fundraiser at Rose Avenue. Boys soccer will be playing tomorrow at Ventura High School. Freshman and JV at 3, varsity at 5. Thanks, Josh, for those announcements. I hope everyone is having a rad year so far. I know, I am. So, Sierra, you have any goals for 2019? Actually, yeah, I do. I want to try and work out more, but let's hear what our peers' goals are for 2019. My 2019 goals would be to pass it to six with an A. That's like my, you know, like my short-term goal. And then my long-term goal for this year um, would be to enjoy the rest of high school. Actually learn how to do physics, like, you know, the concepts in the sort. Um, as for the long-term, maybe, well, learning to drive is one, but two is probably settle on like finding jobs or like internships to um, my future job, like becoming a mechanical engineer. So my goals for this year, I guess, is to um, really focus on the, uh, the things that are helping with my uh, career outside of school. Uh, really, I couldn't care much for school and academics, but I have uh, EMT classes outside of school and a Ventura County Fire Explorer program uh, that allows me to uh, ride out at stations and kind of work with firefighters. And I think that's really good for networking. And I plan to develop that throughout the year and uh, use it more so I can kind of use that to uh, market myself in the future. Just to get straight A's this semester, because it's almost the end of it. But my long-term goal, I think, will probably be just finding a job after I complete my uh, political science degree. Short-term goals, I would say, at least bring my grades up, well, or maintain my grades to an A, of course. And long-term goals for this year, mm -hmm. um, well, try to gain as much knowledge as I possibly can, I guess. The problem is getting a job. <laughs> the second one is um, hoping to get accepted to my dream school. That's cool. Wow, you know, I was thinking about it, and I can't believe this semester is almost over. I think I need to change my schedule. Well, you better hurry up. Why? The deadline's soon. Let's see what Mr. Reynoso has to say about it. Uh, good day, students. This is Mr. Reynoso, counselor here at Oxford High School. Just uh, reminding you all that this Friday is the last day that we're going to be working on uh, second semester schedule changes. So please stop by um, this Friday latest. Make sure uh, that way you have your semester schedule ready to start on Tuesday. Thank you. Have a nice day. Well, I sure need to hurry up. Agreed. So, Josh, how are your finals going? I'm doing one right now. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> well, for our other finals, let's see some tips on how to study for them. Hey guys, so it is finals week here at Oxford High School and I am pretty sure everybody is cramming in all their classes, trying to scramble to get their grades up, trying to ask their teacher if they could round their grade from a 12 to like a 99. But anyway, so I'm here to tell you guys some tips on studying. One tip that I'm sure that everybody has been told is organize your study space. I, for one, 100% agree on this one because before I would always study in a messy workspace. Next, we have practice on old exams. Have you ever gotten a quiz back and seen that you got almost all of it wrong? That is the story of my life. If you just study on old exams and see what the right answers were, then you know, what was on the test is most likely going to be on the test that you're going to take for the final. Another tip is to explain your answers to other people. I, for one, can vouch for this one 100%. Because, for example, I have, I'm taking psychology and all the time whenever my friends ask me how is the class, should I take it? When I explain to them the things we learn, they are always so, so interested to learn more. So you're welcome, Romeo. I'm advertising your class. Next up is organize a study group with friends. Making a study group will help you for sure and who knows, maybe you'll learn something that you didn't know before. Another tip that I've been noticing that a lot of people and just like articles online that say when you study, definitely take breaks and also eat. Do not forget to eat. There has been many times where my friends have said that, oh man, I've been studying all day and I haven't had any time to eat. Do not do that. Eat. 
Do not starve yourself, that's bad. Lastly, if you know when your exam is going to be, be sure to space out your study time. So for example, let's say if it's two weeks before your final, then space out your study time. So do not cram, do not cram, I repeat, do not cram the night before your final day. It, it is actually encouraged to space out you're studying two weeks before final. Every day you study for an hour or two. That's great. Every day you're reviewing and noticing, okay, what do I know? What do I not know? What should I what should I get better at? Meanwhile, if you cram the night before, you really do not know, okay, do I know this? Do I not know this? Will I do good on this? And also the information doesn't really stick to your brain that much. It doesn't at all. But yeah, those are some tips that I have for you guys on studying so be sure to use these tips if you want to if not then hey that's you anyway good luck on finals and be sure to study as much as you can those are some really useful tips i know i'll use them tonight all right well good luck on your finals guys that's all we have for today make sure to comment like and subscribe here at live, live at, at the, the hive, hive.